it didn't even cross my mind that it could be a full-time thing. I wanted to take a break from working on an episode uh, just to say thank you because last night I hit 100,000 subscribers. Starting Tasting History was a way to keep me busy while I was on furlough. Mmm, okay. Okay. This, it, if you're not making this, shame on you. My name is Max Miller. I'm the host of Tasting History on YouTube, a show where we talk food and history from the past. Today, in the most serious way possible, I'm going to teach you how to make everlasting Ciliabub. This time on Tasting History. It was a bit of an amalgam of different shows that I really enjoyed, uh, from Bill Nye the Science Guy with a little bit of levity and Alton Brown on Good Eat. But then the abbot said, oh, Emperor Charlemagne, you must eat the rind. That is where all the flavor is, the true essence of brie. Kind of mashed all of those things together and out came those first episodes of Tasting History. So today I'm going to teach you how to make your own garum at home in a lot less than two months and without offending your neighbors. I think if I had to choose one episode that was the most interesting for me to make, it would actually be the Yan Xiao, which was uh, a dish from the Ming Dynasty in China. Today's episode is a tale of palace intrigue, scheming eunuchs, forged documents, and of murder. <laughs> the two best teachers of history that I ever had were my grandfather and then my mother, who is a teacher. When she would teach history, so it was one big picture rather than just a series of names and dates. She is an amazing teacher and I learned everything from her. A lot of people think that they don't like history because when they learned it in school, it was often taught as just a series of dates and names. But history is is just stories. And I think that that's why, why people latch on to history. We, we crave stories, we always have. Coming up on Tasting History, 17th century pumpkin pie, a medieval gingerbread, and then one of my most ambitious creations, a Victorian Christmas pudding. It's going to be a good episode. Make this. If you're not making this, no excuses. This, this was the easiest recipe ever. No excuses. Go make this, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time on Tasting History. <laughs>